let's just make a new standard. I think that's been done too many times. So I have one of these coming from John, and I'm looking forward to it. I'm getting the Poda rig, which is a smaller setup. But these allow you to phase your antennas. And I've seen John set this up with DX Commanders. I'm going to be phasing it with two 17-foot whips. And I'm only getting 20-meter kits, all I'm going to mess with. But with an array set up, and this is like a test question, a couple of test questions on the extra level test I know. Depending on how the array is set up and how many elements you have in the array, uh, separate antennas. We have two, three, can, four. Yeah, you can change the directionality Squirrel of the voice. array. Sorry, John. With, and obviously with two, we just get what, two directions, John? Or just broadside, I can't remember. With, with two, you get one forward firing direction. But then you can yeah. switch which direction it is. You can you make can it change east the direction. Yeah. and ignore west, or you can make it west and ignore east as an example. Right. Whichever way you set it up. Right. And which is really cool. And we saw John demo this um, down in Orlando. and it Hamcation was at the Toad's Poda. At the Toad's Poda meetup in Orlando. And it was awesome. I mean, he had a lot of noise coming from one direction, and he turned it, and they went, shush. They went gone. <laughs> they yeah. went gone. So it's really a cool thing. And, John, how much gain do you get out of that? Is it like 8 or 12 dB of gain on that thing? It's a fair amount. With two, you get two end fire directions and a broadside. So and the, broadside, two is, the two yeah. end fire is what I was talking about, but you also do get some broadside, yeah. 